this situation has been resolved, and now we got to get back to work uh, serving the people in New York City 24-7. He was somber, but there was no mistaking the relief as Mayor de Blasio celebrated separate decisions by state and federal prosecutors to end their year-long probes of his campaign fundraising activities. But while there will be no formal charges and the mayor can proceed full speed ahead with his re-election campaign, he didn't receive a clean bill of health. Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance slammed the scheme concocted by Team de Blasio to help elect Senate Democrats, saying it appeared contrary to the intent and spirit of the law, creating an end run around the direct candidate contribution limits. Team de Blasio had wealthy donors circumvent contribution limits by donating large sums of money to county committees, which then sent the money to individual candidates. What saved the mayor was what Vance called the advice of counsel defense. De Blasio couldn't be charged, Vance said, because his campaign lawyer said the scheme was okay. I do not agree with some of the characterization. I've only looked at it glancingly. I'm not a lawyer. I haven't looked at all the nuances, but I don't agree with some of the characterization. Before he was fired over the weekend, U.S. Attorney Preet Barrera had been investigating pay to play and whether de Blasio donors got favorable treatment from city agencies. Among the things the prosecutors looked at was the controversial Rivington nursing home deal in which city officials allowed a nursing home to be converted into condos. They also investigated city negotiations with de Blasio donor Harendra Singh to lease the property for his Water's Edge restaurant, which is on city property. Barrera's replacement, acting U.S. Attorney June Kim, said the decision not to prosecute took into account the high burden of proof, the clarity of existing law, any recent changes in the law, and the particular difficulty in proving criminal intent and corruption schemes where there is no evidence of personal profit. The prosecutor said he took the unusual step of issuing the statement in order not to unduly influence the upcoming campaign and mayoral election. The mayor now faces the daunting task of raising millions of dollars to pay off his legal bills. At City Hall, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And the mayor says that he plans to set up a legal defense fund and ask people to contribute.